Hello there, kitties. I'm Kari, the vacuum tube witch. And it's time to talk about some hardware shenanigans uh, that uh, have been bugging me for a long time. Because uh, recently I bought uh, the Razer Kio Pro <laughs> camera. <coughs> That uh, normally I uh, I wanted to use it as my uh, bench cam, right above uh, right above the working surfaces. Uh, but uh, there's a big problem with it, or or there's a big problem with uh, with USB, and uh, this uh, this camera runs on uh, USB three. And uh, the USB free standard, uh, it uh, it requires the max cable length uh, of uh, one meter for full transfer, uh, two meters for limited transfer, but uh, the the bench cam uh, is uh, six meters far away from the computer that I use for recording. And this causes a lot of problems because sometimes the, the communication is lost. Uh, sometimes uh, there are there are control errors uh, in the in the Linux uh, kernel log because I I use GNU Linux uh, for all my work for all the editing uh, for all the recording. This uh, this lab is uh, fully free and open source uh, software based. None of that proprietary software rubbish. So I I try as hard as I can to run uh, Caritech uh, fully on um, on uh, free and open source software including uh, the recording and uh, editing processes but uh, sometimes uh, there are things that bug me and they uh, they bug me all to hell and i have to rant about it now <laughs> and uh, that's uh, that's why uh, there haven't been uh, videos lately and that's uh, that's why uh, the last video with the with the ZX Spectrum, uh, that's on my bench again. I was uh, I was trying to record uh, the follow up, but uh, had the same problem. <laughs> then that's why uh, I haven't had uh, so many videos lately. And uh, and yeah. Uh, Turns out that uh, as I uh, as I test the Kio Pro now on the shorter cable, like two two meters, right next to my computer, it works and uh, doesn't really cause um, errors. Sometimes it can, but uh, but that's uh, highly unlikely, and uh, and that's uh, most of the time uh, it's reliable. But if I connect it over the six meter cable, it all goes to hell. That's bullshit. I've been thinking about uh, about getting to industrial grade uh, USB free hubs. Uh, one of them I would uh, place uh, right uh, next to my computer, next to my monitor, next to the um, stream cam. And it will connect uh, all of the USB free peripherals, uh, the microphone, the camera, and the cable all the way to the other hub. Um, if I uh, if I get them, uh, because I would have to be able to afford them, and the budget here is tight under Effort Granger slices. As always, it's it's always tighter than ever Granger's laces. And uh, right above the right above the bench, uh, I've got the speaker and the signal tracer um, 
where I have a USB 2.0 hub attached, but um, the bitrate but then the transfer on that hub uh, wouldn't be enough to support two cameras. And I want uh, two cameras uh, for my bench, uh, one camera for the for the test gear, the other camera for the bench itself. And uh, looks like uh, looks like I will have to get a new USB 3.0 uh, hub for uh, for the bench for all the devices. Make it seven parts to to be future proof. And maybe then uh, it will work. But uh, I'm not sure if it will work because uh, between those hubs. I will still have to run uh, 5 meters uh, of uh, USB 3 cable for data transfer even uh, if I want to provide uh, external power for both hubs uh, because uh, they are of course uh, powered hubs and uh, I could uh, add a uh, separate uh, 12 volt uh, power supply to power all the USB 3 installation. Then uh, I'm uh, I'm not uh, that sure that uh, it would uh, prevent uh, all the errors, all the problems, uh, all those weird uh, USB 3 shenanigans from happening. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about the the ranting. Let's uh, let's get the feed uh, from the from the would be bench gum. Okay, that was the quick and dirty lab tour. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't really saying anything because uh, because I've got the scenes in uh, Open Broadcaster Studio set up in such a way that uh, then the Benchcam uh, feed um, uses the Behringer microphone uh, right there above the bench. Cutting off uh, this uh, this desk um, Behringer. So uh, if I uh, if I was saying something, um, you would be hearing it uh, all too quiet uh, with uh, a lot of uh, a lot of reverb. <laughs> so why even care? And uh, there's um, there's also one more thing that I want to show you. That uh, that's about a uh, DSLR camera. I got my old uh, Canon EOS 30D that I had uh, since 2012. <laughs> I bought it secondhand, but then, by then, uh, when I was working for an IT company and uh, actually made any money. <laughs> And uh, this is what I used uh, for the for the reverse engineering of the Maya Tantan uh, input output port. I uh, I placed it uh, right over there. One moment, please. Let me switch back to the bench cam to show you. I uh, I placed it uh, right over the. The, the shelf uh, and uh, 
used uh, a uh, Pentacon uh, 135mm prime lens, uh, the old M42. <laughs> None of that out of focus rubbish, you all, you all have to manually focus those. <laughs> I uh, I did photography in uh, in late uh, 2000 notice <laughs> and uh, and yeah <laughs> I uh, I uh, got um, a few of those old uh, Eastern German uh, lenses in my collection and uh, I. Uh, I used uh, the V4L to look loop back uh, kernel module and uh, some uh, and some uh, FFmpeg, I guess, uh, based script for, or uh, or Gphoto. I think it was Gphoto, or maybe uh, Gphoto coupled with FFmpeg, uh, but uh, but still. Uh, Basically, just a uh, script that I uh, fire up in the terminal, allowing me to have the video feed uh, from uh, from the camera to be accessible on the on the <laughs> OBS uh, on the V4L to look back uh, virtual camera device. I uh, wonder if I can fire it up now to show you. And let's switch the scene. I uh, I'm not sure if uh, if it will work uh, if I don't restart OBS, but let's try. Yeah, just like I hypothesized, uh, it won't work uh, until I restart OBS. Anyway, uh, I also uh, added a little mod. Uh, I uh, I made a uh, little DC power adapter for the camera. <laughs> So that I don't have to rely on batteries uh, all the time. Makes studio work uh, quite a little, quite a little bit easier. <laughs> and uh, I also uh, had one problem with a tripod. Uh, let me grab it. I've got a Velbon tripod, <laughs> but uh, I used to have a uh, digital camcorder, like uh, some uh, Sony Full HD model, <laughs> and uh, I lost it. I don't know where it went, uh, but it uh, ended up somewhere in the lab's discombobulation. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> I lost it. And um, there was uh, the mounting plate uh, attached to the camera, the mounting plate for this uh, tripod, because uh, I sometimes used it uh, with the tripod, so I, uh, I just uh, left the plate uh, attached uh, to that camera. And after I lost the camera, I lost the, the plate, <laughs> then the tripod was useless. But uh, at some point, uh, when I visited my old lab uh, back in Woods in the Burkhardt Museum, I, uh, I found uh, the mounting plate uh, and its coupler from some uh, other camera tripod uh, that I uh, had um, a while ago. <laughs> and I decided to cut the, cut the tripod's base uh, a little bit with a hacksaw <laughs> and uh, attach uh, Attach this plate, uh, making the tripod useful uh, again. <laughs> Bam! 
Got a working tripod and uh, no expense at all. <laughs> Pretty nice. So uh, that would be for the little update on uh, on what's been going on with uh, with me, with uh, with my channel, with my with my studio, with uh, with all the hardware and uh, and software. Yeah, I can uh, I can stop this script and uh, as for the as for the Kio Pro. <laughs> With uh, with the shorter cable, and uh, still, still no problems. But uh, if I connected it uh, with the with the long cable, it would act up. I might try uh, some uh, some other little trick. Uh, I might try uh, connecting it uh, over USB 2.0, losing some. Uh, some frame rate, uh, some uh, some transfer. That's um, that's none of that um, 1080p 60fps recording. But uh, at least uh, if that uh, if that's able to work for some time uh, until I get that uh, USB hub set up, uh, if it can re work reliably. Then, uh, then it will suffice. I, uh, I will uh, get back to recording those videos. But, uh, but now the the priority is just to have a uh, reliable working setup. By the way, the damn awesome thing about this camera is the tripod mount. <laughs> I uh, I just uh, attach it to the thin rail right over the right over the bench that uh, that I've got uh, for the, for the mic uh, for the other camera the the Logitech uh, C920 that uh, used to be the the main uh, bench cam but uh, now it is the Test uh, test gear cam that uh, you saw you saw it for the first time uh, when I uh, when I did the the last video about the ZX Spectrum. Let's uh, let's get a view from it again. It will be pretty dark, but yeah. That's uh, that's for enhancing my uh, camera setup uh, in the lab, and uh, there are there are also a uh, a few more things about uh, about my work and my lab. Uh, recently, I met uh, a guy uh, who who is a nerd. He's a he's a furry. and uh, he's pretty active uh, at the local fab lab. Fab Lab, not Fab Lab. <laughs> then the Fab Lab uh, Fabrication Laboratory. It's a uh, place uh, not far away from uh, where I live. That uh, uh, they've got uh, they've got a nice uh, woodworking and uh, metalworking um, workshop. They've got a uh, electronics lab. Uh, I went there. For the first time, uh, I went there yesterday, and uh, I was uh, much impressed. Uh, much more impressed than uh, Hacker Space Pomoja, <laughs> because uh, they are way better equipped. They are they've got uh, something like five uh, 3D printers. Uh, <laughs> they've got like uh, five or even more 3D printers alone, <laughs> two laser cutters. A CNC machine that can go through through wood, uh, through plywood, but no, not aluminum. They've got a they've got a life <laughs> for metal. I uh, I always wanted to learn uh, how to use a life. <laughs> so um, 
no, it's uh, no, this is uh, becoming impossible. And uh, and one of the guys that um, I uh, I came in uh, into touch with, <coughs> he is planning to set up an uh, enterprise for for uh, rescuing and restoring uh, all the electronics. Uh, He's, uh, he's also pretty passionate about uh, vintage computers. And uh, that will be quite an opportunity for me. Like, uh, getting into cooperation with him. Maybe maybe even moving my lab to, <laughs> to the new place. Who knows? Uh, that's if I uh, can handle the logistics. Uh, are, are branching out, uh, doing some stuff uh, in a different location that I uh, I wouldn't have to do it all in uh, in this uh, this little private lab. Uh, of course, uh, it's always here. That's where I live. Uh, that's where I live, and uh, I don't have to go anywhere to to do any work. <laughs> But uh, if I go uh, somewhere else, uh, then I would uh, be able to focus on work rather than life, <laughs> and uh, and get more shit done in uh, in the same time. Like uh, like I can tell my queer friends um, that I live with, uh, that I'm uh, in a relationship with. Uh, that, uh, that I'm going to work and uh, go to that lab and uh, do some stuff. Uh, maybe maybe make a uh, video setup. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe uh, maybe that would also be a uh, nice idea to set up a uh, cooperative. Uh, Electronic lab with uh, with filming capability. Something like uh, something like I have here, but uh, to be used not just by me, but uh, but by uh, anyone who who comes there who wants to get some stuff done and uh, and maybe document uh, what they're doing, uh, maybe uh, record some video then uh, then just. Uh, Upload it uh, to their channel. <laughs> so uh, I'm all for setting up a uh, cooperative uh, electronics hub workspace uh, where where you could uh, where you could uh, have the collective uh, knowledge base, uh, where you could uh, have. Uh, a shared space, uh, shared equipment. Of course, uh, it would take uh, responsible um, people, and uh, it will also take uh, people who can uh, actually back this uh, initiative uh, up with uh, with real resources, with um, with uh, money to to rent the place, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, when uh, when he told me uh, about uh, about this initiative, uh, I was uh, I was all for it. I was very happy. I I was very determined uh, to um, to get into it uh, because it might benefit me. It might uh, benefit the local community. Okay, so <laughs> no cat. Just me. The vacuum to watch. See you in the next one.